For eight years, Rick Lang has worked with his doctors to treat persistent atrial fibrillation. I could just feel it in my chest that my heart was was racing, and I know it a couple times I went into tachycardia, which is a very rapid heartbeat, um, <clears throat> sometimes too fast to count. For those like Rick, doctors often perform what's called an ablation, which uses a catheter to apply heat or cold and create small scars on the heart that eliminate the source of irregular heartbeats. But the procedure is not without risks, particularly collateral damage to the esophagus or surrounding heart tissue. The only way to mitigate that risk is by decreasing the amount of thermal energy that you deliver to the heart and that unfortunately leads to recurrence. So instead of a traditional ablation, Rick was the first patient in the U.S. to undergo a new procedure using a device that emits small electrical pulses rather than heat or cold. We're delivering a field of energy, so direct contact, having to have significant force against the heart wall, which confers a risk of perforation will likely be eliminated. Dr. John Hummel performed the procedure at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center and says the device not only makes ablation safer, but also more effective by precisely targeting specific cells. It essentially causes the cells that are causing the problem to leak and cease electrical conduction without actually altering the tissue in the way that burning tissue or freezing tissue would. For Rick, this quick procedure has helped him return to the life he loves, and he hopes it leads him into a heart-healthy future. I'm um, getting back on the golf course with good walking and good body movements and um, and just getting away from the, the fear of, um, you know, is the AFib going to come back or the A-flutter going to come back?